This Mercedes Actros truck is having a problem. The gear lever is too hard when shifting on rear gear. There is no problem when shifting on front gear. This video will show how to diagnose the problem using a multimeter tester and pneumatic gear shift electronic control unit, how it works in the system. The first step is to check the gear shift solenoid valve. This is the positive terminal pin of the gear shift solenoid coil. And other one is the negative terminal pin. And these two pins of the solenoid valve is used to shift on rear gears. 86.1 ohms is the resistance of the solenoid coil. Change the position of the test probe. This is a neutral pin or negative terminal pin of the gear shift solenoid valve. This position of the test probe is to check the coil resistance for front shift solenoid valve. 86 ohms is a normal resistance for shift solenoid valve coil. This means that we have a good solenoid coil. After checking the coil resistance of the gear shift solenoid valve, make sure to return the socket to proceed to the next step. Check the continuity of the cable for gear shift solenoid valve. X1.2, this socket is connected to the gear shift solenoid valve. On the left side of the socket, with brown cable, this is the ground supply. And that point connects the negative test probe. This is a neutral pin or negative terminal pin of the gear shift solenoid valve. And the positive test probe connect to the center at the blue cable. Check, the resistance is the same. Resistance comes from the gear shift solenoid valve. This means you have good cable continuity. Transfer the test probe to the right side on the violet wire, showing the same resistance. Set the tester to voltage DC. Start the engine, wait till the air tank is full. Insert the negative test rod into the brown wire. and insert the positive test rod into the violet wire. Now press the clutch pedal. Take note, you cannot get a voltage supply going to the gear shift solenoid valve without pressing your clutch pedal. And also, make sure that all wires and sockets are connected. Push the gear lever to the front. Now, check the output voltage going to the gear shift solenoid valve. The more pressing to your gear lever, the more voltage will increase. You need at least 5 volts or higher to activate the gear shift solenoid coil. Transfer and insert the positive test rod at the center into the blue wire. Now press the clutch pedal. While pushing the gear lever to the rear, there is no output voltage going to the gear shift solenoid valve. This means you have a problem 
when shifting on rear gears. There is no output voltage to supply the gear shift solenoid valve, and that is the cause why the gear lever is too hard when shifting on rear gears. In this case, proceed to the pneumatic gear shift electronic control unit. This is a pneumatic gear shift electronic control unit. Check the power voltage of the pneumatic gear shift ECU at this point. The power supply voltage is 28 volts. Insert the negative test probe into the brown wire, negative supply going to the gearshift solenoid valve. And insert the positive test rod into the violet wire. And this wire is connected to the front terminal box with an X1.2 socket, and from the front terminal going to gearshift solenoid valve. It helps to push when the gear lever shifts to the front. Push the clutch pedal. And now, push the gear lever to the front and hold. At the same time, the voltage is going high. And this voltage is going to supply the front gear shift solenoid valve to make the gear lever soft and smooth when pushing on front gear. Transfer the positive test probe to the blue wire, and this wire is connected to the front terminal box with an X1.2 socket, and from the front terminal going to gearshift solenoid valve. And this wire terminal is connected to the rear gearshift solenoid coil. It helps to push when the gear lever shifts to the rear. Now press the clutch pedal. And shift the gear lever to rear. Check the voltage meter. There is no output voltage going to the rear shift solenoid valve. And this is the cause of the problem. Why the gear lever is too hard when shifting on the rear gears. Now we will proceed to check the power supply terminal and the output signal of the gear lever pressure sensor. Insert the test rod into this point to check the power supply voltage going to the front gear lever pressure sensor. Four point nine volts is the supply voltage going to the front gear lever actuator sensor. Transfer the positive test rod to the center showing to this point to check the output pressure signal of the gear lever actuator pressure sensor. 0.257 volts, this is the output voltage signal when the gear lever is in a neutral position. Press the clutch pedal and shift the gear lever to front. 1.1 volts to 2 volts coming from the output signal of the gear lever pressure sensor when pushing the gear lever to the front gear. Transfer the test probe into this point to check the power supply voltage of the rear gear lever pressure sensor. 4.9 volts is the power supply voltage of the rear gear lever pressure sensor. Transfer the positive test rod to the center, same to this point, to check the output voltage signal of the rear gear lever pressure sensor. 0.260 voltage coming from the output signal when the gear lever is in a neutral position to check the output voltage signal of the rear gear lever pressure sensor while pressing your clutch pedal now push the gear lever to the rear and hold the gear lever actuator pressure sensor is not responding there is no output signal voltage coming from the rear gear pressure sensor in this case we need to lift up the driver cabin to check the pressure sensor Set the multimeter tester to ohms. 
Disconnect the socket of the rear gear lever pressure sensor. This setup of the test probe is to check the resistance from the ground to the output signal terminal pin. 119K ohms is a normal resistance for a good pressure sensor. Transfer the test probe from the ground pin to the positive terminal pin. 116K ohms is a normal resistance of a good pressure sensor. The questions is, if the resistance of the terminal pin of the pressure sensor is normal, then why? The pressure sensor is not giving an output signal voltage. Going to pneumatic gearshift electronic control unit. In this case, we decide to replace the rear gear lever actuator pressure sensor. Please subscribe and click on the notification bell to update you on my next video on how to check a defective gear lever actuator pressure sensor. Install a new gear lever actuator pressure sensor. Connect the pressure sensor socket. Now check the pneumatic gearshift electronic control unit. Insert the test probe to this point to check the voltage going to the rear shift solenoid valve and to check the rear pressure sensor if responding. Now the pressure sensor is working. Starting to 5 volts, it's enough to activate the solenoid coil for the rear gear solenoid valve. Insert the test probe into this point to check the voltage going to the front shift solenoid valve. Front, front. The more pressing to your gear lever, the more voltage you can get. Now everything is back to normal, the gear lever is very soft when shifting on gears. Insert the test probe into this point. Check the signal voltage of the rear gear pressure sensor, showing 2 volts coming from the rear gear lever actuator pressure sensor. Insert the test probe to this point to check the output signal voltage of the front gear lever sensor. Press the clutch pedal and shift the gear lever to the front. Hope this video will help. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.